10-4 went around to you, emergent, with a 40, possibly 45-year-old male patient. Um, chief complaint, uh, patient possibly suffering from a stroke. Uh, we have an ETA DU of about three minutes. This patient is going to be a candidate before you reach console. 10-4. 10 4, room 9 on arrival. Please be clear. 10 4, McDuffie 97, M8 is clear. Nurse, prepare for the reach consult. We've already made the call, doctor. CT's ready to do the scans. When a patient in a rural area, you know, presently has a stroke, they're going to be taken to a rural hospital where the odds of seeing a neurologist are low. We have one drug that works for stroke, TPA. It has to give them within three hours. So there's seldom time to take that patient to a rural hospital and transfer them to a hospital that has a neurologist. That takes a lot of time. We have a lot of evidence that the earlier you treat a patient, even within the three-hour window, the better the outcome. Well, web-based telestroke systems are fast, and they find a consultant fast. You don't have to be locked to a single site. Tell me down to the club. Uh, hello, this is Dr. Green. This allows a neurologist to get on the line quickly and it saves time. Hold on one second. This is an emergency. I need to take this call. Yeah. Just take me a few minutes. Can you, can you load up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. great. We say time is brain. So five to ten minutes, you know, that brain is dying. When he got to the ER, he couldn't move his left side at all. And now I think he's moving just a little bit. All right. I uh, see he also has a history of high blood pressure. The uh, hub and spoke concept basically consists of a hub which is the central hospital and the spokes are the outlying or rural hospitals so that when they have an acute stroke patient uh, they'll contact that hub so within you know, a few minutes of initiating a phone call one of the reach doctors is on the phone and ready to read the CT scan ready to start evaluating the patient uh, through this virtual uh, medium. It's based on inexpensive technology that doesn't require that the hub and spoke have a dedicated facility. There's a Nurse, cart that I'm rolls up to the bedside the in the spoke ER, Brown and the physician right. at the hub uh, basically is, can be anywhere. Very simple basic information gets typed in by the nurse. We just need a very minimal amount of information that activates the consult. It's quick, it's easy, it's user-friendly, and I've never had a problem working with it or getting in touch with a neurologist. The patient's not on Coumadin. He's just taking an aspirin a day and some blood pressure medicine. He's had no recent surgery or head trauma. Okay, I'd like to examine the patient now. The neurologist to make an informed decision to give TPA needs to see the patient, needs to interact with the patient and the family. Having an eye, so to speak, in the emergency room and on the patient is indispensable. I really get a lot of information that I can't just get by talking to a patient or talking to a doctor over the telephone. The REACH web-based system allows us to enter a consult directly. So we, we type as we're doing the consult, and we produce a written consult for them. Mr. Strickland, my name is Dr. Green. I'm a neurologist at the Medical College of Georgia. Your physician has asked me to see you today because he's concerned that you may be having a stroke. I understand. The other thing that we do, it's one of the most important things in a stroke patient to do, is to measure the NIH stroke scale score. So I think most everybody appreciates the fact now that an NIH stroke scale score, you can do very accurately over the internet. Hey, look into my face. You do you need the local staff to help you do the visual field exam. Usually a nurse. One, uh, the nurses are one, excellent at helping us. Two, and after a while, the nurses get, get really two, good at this and position one, the patient two, well and help us comps, be the hands uh, and, and the fingers to test the visual field that we need to, okay. to help us. Uh, now try your left arm. When we see a patient, we have a kind of a drop-down NIH stroke scale menu which allows you to score the patient right online, so it's point and click. So the scale will drop down. It'll give you reminders of what a one point, a two point, a three point motor arm weakness is. And then you just click it, and then it's totaled up. You know, you don't have to uh, figure it out in your head and write it down on a piece of paper. It's right there. So that's very, very rapid. The other thing that the neurologist needs is the ability to see the CT images himself. Radiologists are very good but they don't have the advantage of seeing the patient like we do. If we're making the decision on a drug that has a lot of benefit but a potential danger, we want to be absolutely sure that we're looking at the CAT scan. As we discussed, the CT scan is unremarkable, and I don't really hear any contraindication to giving TPA. I think it would benefit 
So it's my recommendation that we go ahead and give the TPA. I agree with the diagnosis and I agree with the TPA, doctor. Okay. Well, let me type up my consult note and uh, I'll give the go ahead in a few minutes. Thank you, doctor. As soon as you finish the instructions, give the TPA. Yes, doctor. After the consultation has been completed, we keep a complete set of history of all patients that have been registered and tracked throughout the system. Uh, a neurologist or an assistant or anybody of that nature can go back into our system, log in at any time, pull up the entire consultation report, review that patient's case anytime they need to do that. We also have a 24-7 support number where somebody is always available to answer the phone in case you have any problems during a live consult. Before REACH was in place in our facility, a patient's only option um, that was presenting with stroke was to be transported to another facility. Many times that meant they didn't qualify for treatment with TPA. With the TPA being able to be administered at McDuffie right there, we can oftentimes be within the three hour time frame and give patients a chance to have that quality of life back. With REACH, Patients receive care that improves their chances of suffering minimal damage and disability. With REACH, I was able to stay near my family and friends, and I didn't have to be transported anywhere. With REACH, hospitals get a high-tech service for managing stroke that translates into positive financial results. With REACH, the neurologist can deliver high-quality stroke care to a stroke patient literally anywhere in the world.